The Minister of State for Budget and National Planning, Clem Agba, says the federal government has commenced an integral approach to solving the challenges of food ecosystem that projects about 25.3 million people facing acute food insecurity in the country. Agba made this known on Tuesday in Abuja at the partners meeting in the implementation of food transformation pathways in Nigeria. According to the Food Agriculture Organization, about 25.3 million people in Nigeria would face acute food insecurity as this is attributed to the huge food deficit due to the neglect of agricultural production as well as areas of food ecosystem. The minister, however, assures Nigerians that the federal government will continue to prioritize food and nutrition invention in the nation's development agenda and address the complexities of malnutrition and food insecurity by achieving universal access to safe, nutritious, affordable and sustainable diets. It is not an overstatement to say that the federal government understood that achieving universal access to safe, nutritious, affordable and sustainable diets is critical to addressing the complexities of malnutrition and food insecurity in Nigeria. This is particularly critical to attaining both economic and human capital development and thus require breaking down silos among different actors in the food and nutrition sphere while adopting a well-coordinated multi-sectorial approach. Also speaking, the United Nations Resident Humanitarian Coordinator to Nigeria, Matthias Skimali, appealed to the government to invest greatly in food production, especially in rural areas, so that the country will be able to feed itself and its neighboring countries. In fact, I think the highest number of food insecure people is in Lagos. I want to pay tribute to you, Prince Clem, for always highlighting not just food systems, but the importance of rural areas, of investment into rural areas. So I think you've provided real leadership there. And with my UN colleagues, we will, we will seek to sustain the momentum beyond the end of May on this particular aspect, food systems, and particular in rural areas. There is no doubt in my mind that Nigeria cannot just feed itself, but can feed the region, if not the continent. With food being a key factor to the country's stability, stakeholders have been charged to show continuous support, especially in funding the implementation of the food system. I think for me, this is something that really